Okay. So when you're getting ready to start your patient, again, you need to have your machine prepped and ready. You should make sure that you have a green man, meaning that it passed all its tests. So when you have that and you have your initial vitals and things on your patient, you would get your access prep for your patient. Um, we are just going to be using a bucket as our patient for today, so we're going to go on from there. So um, first thing you want to do is you want to acknowledge the patient data and do that by pressing the green man. So when you want to get going, it's always going to be green, so press the green to go. You will get this screen and in here you should be able to see did you change, did you put in the correct volume for removal, did you put in the correct time. This is a way to verify some of your orders already. Again, you should have your final conductivity and um, these two pieces, the min and max, should be matching in relationship to it. Once you have acknowledged this information, you would press the acknowledge button or the confirm button over here and then it will take it. This machine will automatically stop your pump at this point. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lines now. So what we have to do is we have to kind of uh, remove the saline that's within the system right now. So we're going to clamp both of these lines and I'm going to undo the two. Keep your little recirculator on your venous side for right now. Prepare, make sure that you keep this sterile and clean. We're going to take this and put this back in the bucket. That's why you keep that one on there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our arterial. We're going to open it up over the bucket. We're going to let it go for three seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, clamp. At this point, I would connect my patient. So at this point, I'm connecting it to the axis of my patient and leaving it clamped. Then we're going to go to the venous side of it and clear out the venous side. So with that, we're going to do a quick three steps. We're going to open up our clamp so we don't have pressures building up, start our pump, and poke it in the eye so that we can see that we removed 200 or 0.2 liters of volume from this. From this, So we're gonna drain out another 200 mLs um, of saline through this. So we're gonna let that do its job. Uh, you will have to stop it when it gets to that point, so make sure that you're gonna be prepared to be able to do that at this point. So I'm just gonna let it go so that you can see the numbers as it's progressing. Seems to take a long time between point one and point two. Don't be concerned. And we're going to let it continue till that point. I told you it takes a long time. Should be soon. So when the volume gets to point two, almost there, then we're going to stop it and we're going to do three clamps. We're going to clamp our venous line and we're going to use our two clamps on our IV line. So this one and then there's another one towards the bottom here. So you're going to do that. So you make sure that you have both of them clamped so that when you connect to your patient, you don't get air in it. When you have a, an alarm, you press it once, that mutes it. When you press it twice, that should clear the alarm. We're going to go out the door so we can be back at the main screen. At this point, I'm going to connect it to my patient. Once I connect it, I can open up my clamps for my patient, and I have to clear my alarm, so it will start. Oh, I've got to give it a little pressure here. And I'm going to go ahead, clear my alarm, and then I'm going to start my machine. So at this point, the machine has turned itself down to 150, and so we're going to watch our pressures to make sure that they're half of our blood flow rate or less. Oops, apparently don't have enough pressure. And we're going to start to increase it. If my blood flow is supposed to be 350, I'm going to increase it probably by 100, watching my pressures as I go. See how everything is looking. It's hard to do without a patient. And then we're going to go up to 350. Once I get to my ordered blood flow rate, I will, I will. I take my machine out of bypass and that will start the clock up here and you can see that my bicarbonate is now running and I am in hemodialysis. So with that I then start my blood pressure so I go to my blood pressure screen. I make this every 15 because in the acutes that's what we need to do and I press this and it would cycle every 15 minutes for me. I'm going to just turn it off since I don't have a patient running. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my timer. If you have patients that are heparin free, we are required to do flushes of 100 mLs every half an hour. So I would turn on my interval timer, colon three zero, and I would tell it I wanted to do it every 30 seconds. So that's cyclical. 
And my to-do should say that I want it to flush, and it does, so I would hit OK. And now I'm done with that. So now my patient is running and I've gotten the different things set up and, and programmed for my patient in order to do a good treatment.